and this is the root cause of all suffering, when the present moment appears like this, and your mind projects, I want it like this. We have a difference. And the mind tells a story about how it's wrong, how we're going to fix it. It shouldn't be like, it all generates suffering. The moment you relinquish this and you just allow this to be as it is, it's not possible to suffer. So first we recognize this fundamental, the fundamental nature of who you are. This I am, pure being, pure consciousness. And then from there, recognizing that these thoughts appear, let's say, I don't want this. Why is this happening to me? When will this ever go away? I'm suffering this. I hate this. There's no end to it. And to see that what that is, is just thoughts appearing. And there can be a sense of a little me invested in those thoughts. And when it's invested in them, when it's identified with them, it can feel a distorted satisfaction from having problems or a distorted satisfaction from embodying a victim role. Somehow it feels good for it. That's its identity. And because its identity is built in to being a victim and having problems, it doesn't want the problems to go away. It actually thrives on it, feeds on it. It doesn't want to stop being a victim to all of its problems, because then what will remain? Well, nothingness, identitylessness. It wants to fight for its survival. And this is a very common mechanism of the conceptual self. And it likes to make an appearance, especially when life is challenging, either in the body, in relationships, in, in work, wherever the challenge appears, aha, here's my opportunity, now I can be a victim to this. But it's subtle, it's very subtle. And all that's required is to be aware of it, to see it and recognize it for what it is. The moment you're aware of it and you recognize what it is, you're no longer identified with it. There's this phenomena, and then there's you, that which is aware of this phenomena, the victim identity, the, the one that's complaining, the one that wants reality to be different. This is me. This is not me. This is me. Pure awareness. And then this is not a problem anymore. It's just doing its thing. A fish swims, a bird flies, the conceptual self identifies. <laughs> but you they were witness have no identity, so you're free already. No matter what stories it's coming up with. And then you can notice that if you identify with it, actually it it brings more pain and suffering to the experience of this moment. It hurts to believe that painful story that this moment's wrong, my body's wrong. This, why is this happening to me? It's a painful story. You can be free from it in an instant just by disidentifying from it and you can disidentify from it just by seeing it. 
It's like you're in the dark. You turn on the flashlight. You see it. You see it. It's there. It's seen. As it's seen, it's lost its power. I'm not interested in that. And then what do we have? We have the sensations in the body. Now, the system's automatic reaction to pain is to get away from it. The getting away from it, the movement away from it, is actually more painful. If we do the opposite, which feels counterintuitive at first, very, very gently take the attention closer to it. And relate with it with love. So now it's not the enemy anymore. It's innocence. And we give it loving attention. I see you. You can be included here too in this moment. I didn't choose you, you just appeared. So you can be here. And very, very gently allow your body to open to those uncomfortable sensations. So you take your attention into the sensation. And notice what the sensation feels like. Is it tightness? Is it a stabbing sensation? Is it a heaviness? And then take your attention right into the core of it and surrender fully to it, totally and completely allow it. Now, what's very common is this little conceptual me says, oh, okay, yeah, I understand. I will follow this practice and feel it so that I can get rid of it. And it brings the agenda in to fix it. And it doesn't speak unconditional love. You awareness know the language of unconditional love, which is to accept and allow everything to be as it is. So if you see that agenda sneaking in, allow that too. But vigilance is required to recognize it when it sneaks in so that you don't get pulled into that agenda. Then you've got a problem again. You've got this thing you need to get rid of. And this is the root cause of all suffering. When the present moment appears like this, and your mind projects, I want it like this. We have a difference. And the mind tells a story about how it's wrong, how we're going to fix it. It shouldn't be like, it all generates suffering. The moment you relinquish this and you just allow this to be as it is, it's not possible to suffer. 